Hey guys, it's uh, week 12 in the NFL, week 12 in our league. One of my favorite fantasy weeks, um, mostly because of Thanksgiving. I like how it's kind of broken up. You get like this whole thing of football and, and whatnot. Um, I, I, I'm really pumped. Uh, the trade deadline's coming up. I'm going to go right into this trade deadline coming up uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Again, we talked about this in the last video. I'm um, not going to go into more detail about that. Uh, hopefully, you all had fun at Bynum's. I didn't hear much about it. I'm sure someone will tell me or fill me in on the happenings and how it all went. So, hope everything went well. Uh, I was, as uh, I drove through fucking, fucking frozen hell to fucking get to East Lansing. Jesus Christ, it was like a bazillion inches of snow and everything. Um, I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. We, uh, I played a little Counter-Strike in real life, apparently. Uh, as you can see in the photo, that was a um, uh, Lansing police officer, which they rolled up in MSU police cars, so that was even weirder. Uh, I'll explain more of the story in a different trip, but all around cool. Um, Huskies split with MSU both days, both overtimes. It was pretty awesome. Fucking great seats. I, 10 out of 10 would do again. And even, even MSU, we drove around campus because we had to wait. We had to check out early, and then we had to wait to go to the stadium. And uh, even after driving around, would not, not hate MSU as much as she used to. So, Dale, you got, you got conversion going on. But uh, all around, uh, fun, fun environment, fun fans. Uh, the only problem was is that I had no, what's it called? No cell service. Ugh. Couldn't get it. so obviously you saw that Lynch got played instead of Thralls and uh, it was it was weird weird no more traveling during football season that's it's a rule now. Um, Montezuma's oh uh, one more thing uh, before I keep going just watch the first episode of Man in the High Castle I I I reckon it's like they reached into my head and were like how do we get something that's just so awesome it's great it's great how dark they made the Nazis and Tojos and it's. Like, you thought my Tojo hating was, like, way up here? No, it's, like, it's, like, sky high now. The to oh, they make me hate the Tojo so much. But it's such a, oh, this, it's so good. It's so good. Episode one will get you, get you hooked. Get you hooked. Uh, Montezuma's Revenge, it was Jerry and Matt. Did not add up how many each owe. Um, I forgot to do that before I started the video, and I want to start, start and stop. But, uh, yeah, you guys owe something, I'm sure, at this point. I didn't check. Again, I've been on, I've been on vacation. Gotta get back into the groove of things. But I do know uh, this week's Montezuma's Revenge is Jeff. Uh, congratulations, Jeff. Uh, you, you're, uh, you're giving it another go. So uh, good luck. And we're going to move right into the uh, last week's matchups. Sorry if it sounds like I'm stuttering a little bit. It's fucking cold down here. I've had a blanket and a hoodie, but I took it off with a jersey. God damn, it's cold. In this. I got Chinny's, as Chinny calls it, the rich man's thermometer, and it says it's fucking, it says it's fucking cold. It says it's fucking cold. Uh, last week's matchup, somehow, some way, I eked out a win against Jerry. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Um, the, it, a win's a win, right? So, but that was, that was a brutal... Oh, man, Giovanni Bernard made me almost shit my pants. Oh, goddamn, G my boy Gio. Uh, Jordan and Matt, that came down to Monday night. Uh, Matt goes heavy on, bets heavy on the, uh, New England, and boy howdy did that not pay off. Uh, New England kinda, they did stuff, and then they didn't, and then they did stuff, which, uh, I don't know. It was good for Jordan. Jordan has pretty much solidified, uh, the bye, or getting damn close to it, I think with another win or two, I don't know. I know he's going to the playoffs, so at that point I don't care anymore. When you're, when you're like there, when you're like TJ, Bynum, Rob, and... And, and t Jordan, you're done. You, 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 yeah, get, get. No one cares about first round buy. No one cares. The only, the only caring of first round buys is dog shit first round buys. Sorry. We, you made the playoffs. Be happy. Uh, the Dale and Chinny Bowl, the somebody's got a win bowl. Uh, Dale won. So this could be a preview. Dog shirts. We could see dog shirt conference final. Uh, then we have Rob and Chris, and Chris in the upset. Rob's team took a shit. Of course it took a shit the week before I have to play him, not the week of. Uh, but that's fantastic. So that, thanks, Rob. Thanks for thanks for the help, asshole. Uh, Nubs and Mike. I'm just kidding, by the way. I, again, if you haven't gotten the jokes yet, get get the jokes. Uh, Nubs and Mike. 
Um, Nubs did his job. Thanks, Nubs. Thanks for the help. Uh, Nubs did Nub Magic beat Mike. TJ and Jeff. Um, TJ won because Jeff's had some Azumas, obviously. I don't know what happened to Jeff's team. Heard, uh, heard Atlanta's running back. He's got Freeman or whatnot. Got four points and then got injured. Had to leave the game. So that probably that's that was his. Uh, that was that was the guy. So. Who knows if Jeff will make the playoffs now that his his anchor or well his yeah basically his anchor his his one guy that just carried him we all got that one guy my guy's Aaron Rodgers usually when he's not playing like trash uh then we have uh, no that was it all right that was a good week um this week looking forward is uh, Rob versus myself oh uh, that's that's good um then we have my matchup marquee matchup of the week. One guy's in the playoffs. One guy isn't. He's struggling to get in. You got Mike versus Chris. Oh, this is the marquee matchup of the week. I got Cool Shirt Train, Mark Gormley, Small Hands. I got him beating Mike. Uh, I think that Chris had a fluke week last week. Or no, he won last week. Uh, I think Chris continues on. He wants that playoff hunt. Uh, go Mike. Uh, I need Mike to beat Chris, so I have a chance to... Stay alive and keep clawing. Like, I'm just, like, my nails are, like, bleeding from clawing so much. It's all it is is just desperate gas for air at this point. Uh, Dale and Matt. Uh, it's important to Matt, not so much Dale. Um, Matt, you got to win. You got to win to get in. Jeff's on your heels. That's it. It's between you and Jeff in the East. One of you is going, one of you is not. Do you want that dog shirt again? You don't want that dog shirt again. Don't want it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Uh, Jeff versus Chinny. Chinny, you're playing spoiler. That's about it. Jeff, you're just in it to win it. You're gonna try to. You're you're trying to get. You don't want to be in that dog shit playoff. That's what you're trying for. Nubs and Jerry. I need uh, Nubs to beat up on Jerry. That'd be great. Uh, Nubs, have your really good week this week, so that week 13 you can have a real crappy week. That's what we're hoping for, bud. Uh, and uh, Jerry, I love you, but uh, to the dog shirt by you go. I hope. Fingers crossed. Cut well. Yeah, either you or my... I don't care. It's I don't want to be in there. I don't want any part of that. It's got bad voodoo. And then we got uh, Jordan versus TJ, which, again, Jordan does all the standings and whatnot. So mine is just... I'm like the Fox News of the Bush Network. I kind of just, like, gather things that are semi-true and just make guesses. So uh, I'm going to guess that's TJ and Jordan are vying for the bye week. So that makes that match interesting, I think. I don't know. Jordan, correct me, please. Uh, NFL, moving on quickly. Again, I'm, I'm cold. Uh, Thanksgiving is, uh, Lions and Philly. Should be a good one. I got the Lions winning this. They're on that weird streak ever since Martha Ford, like, does stuff. Uh, while you're all eating dinner with your families, go ahead and turn off the Cowgirls game against Carolina. I actually have America's team beating the Panthers. Yes, America's team. Beating the Panthers. I'll give that my Hank Hill guarantee. Uh, Carolina's due. You ain't got math. The, the Patriots are the only ones that go undefeated during the regular season. And even I don't think they'll do it. Uh, then, last game of the night, turn it on at least for halftime so you can see Brett Favre get retired and whatnot. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm going to be, like, just fat and just... I'm going to be, like, a real Packers fan. Gain, like, 30 pounds after eating and just be just ginormous on the couch. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. And this might be a good game because the Bears are hot and cold and the Packers have just not been doing good at all. So look forward to that on your Sunday night. Moving to 1 o'clock, which was awesome because the Lions have played and hopefully CBS and Fox open it up. We have the Saints versus the Texans. So, But be careful, Dale. You're like, oh, the Texans are bad. They beat the Bengals. Beat the Bengals. Just remember. Vikings versus Falcons. I don't know how I feel about this, George. Like, I want to root for the Falcons, but I also like the Vikings, but then the Vikings are in the north, so I have to root for the Falcons, right? Right. That's another 1 o'clock game. Hopefully we get that or the Saints game on one of the TVs, or both of the TVs. That'd be just fan-fucking-tastic. 4 o'clock, TJ's adopted team. The Cardinals take on the Niners. That should be a real crappy game, but who knows? You know, bizarro NFL this year. And then uh, Jerry Seahawks take on the Pittsburgh Rapist Burgers. Uh, in the, another four o'clock game, hopefully we'll get to see one of those. And during, so I don't know, I don't know TV schedules yet, but sometime during this day, before I get to the Sunday night matchup, uh, CFL 
the hundred and something Grey Cup, uh, my Edmonton Eskimos made it against, uh, who cares who's coming out of the East, they're garbage anyways. Go Eskies. Uh, they defeated Georgia's guys last week. Um, also last week, Jeff Gordon did not win, but he retired, so that happened. And one more thing, the Columbus Crew and Portland Timbers will be playing in the ML MLS Final, I think this weekend, might be next weekend, I don't know, whatever. Grey Cup or MLS got to be on the computer. This is championships. Championships. Can't wait. Excited. They're probably 4, four o'clock or later anyways. But you should get excited. Come on. Football and football. Good stuff. So tonight is New England versus Denver. New England's replacement quarterback for old man Peyton, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. The Broncos can continue to be amazing. I want the undefeated streak to be ended. End it. Go Broncos. Uh, and, uh, Monday night is Falcons, Browns, or, uh, Flacco's, sorry, the Flacco's and Browns, but Flacco's out, but, so it's the, the Ravens. And I guess it could be, uh, whatever. No one cares about that game anyway. Like, literally nobody in this league cares about that game. Um, normal Sunday schedule, you know, show up, we do all day Sunday. Sundays are back on for a while. And uh, no Thanksgiving again. That's just a reminder so no one shows up and is like, where's my turkeys? But I uh, hope you all had a good good week last week and hope you all have a good Thanksgiving this week. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you all Sunday. Also, for um, uh, before I forget, beer tasting. I'll, I'll go get a six-pack and we'll continue on. Again, two bucks a person, yada, yada, yada. That's it, I'm rambling. All right, guys, have a great week. Go Pack Go. Keep clawing Return of the Lynch. Fuck the Seahawks. And again, go Return of the Lynch, please. All right, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you all Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving.